This is Amsterdam. And this is where my life changes forever. Let me just take you back a couple of hours to the start of the most romantic scavenger ever. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're off to Amsterdam, aren't we Holly? Before I show you the scavenger hunt, let me tell you about the people involved. This is Holly, the love of my life. I want to give her the world. And I think she loves me too. I love you, Holly. Sean, it's 20 past 10 at night, leave me alone. We met one month into my solo backpacking adventure. But since then, we've traveled everywhere together. Prague, Copenhagen, Iceland. And there's me. I'm Sean, the lovable and funny backpacker. So, that's us. Let's begin. Yeah, but that's all I know. Yeah, I was going to say, do you want to tell us a bit about this trip? I can. Yeah, because Holly knows nothing about this trip. Um, and the reason why it's, it's a bit of a surprise trip, I bought it for Holly for Christmas, and it's now January the 7th. 7th. Um, you guys are probably watching this probably in April because I've got a massive <laughs> series of Iceland to do, so I um, hope you enjoyed that series. But um, this is a surprise trip for Holly. Um, just hold that. back when the world was normal. Let's hope it doesn't change. Oh no. Is this... Should we go through the pack of my envelopes that were spare? Yeah. <laughs> my in case of emergency envelopes. We'll have to get some more in case of emergency envelopes. But it was, this is an emergency. No wonder you took so long. No, this was done a while ago. So there's a little letter here. I'll tell you what it says on the edit. Holly, I love you so much. I can't wait to travel yet again with you. This time in Amsterdam, which is full of surprises, just like this letter. Which is one of many. Not saying how many. I want to pull your strings like you're a telecaster. These letters will guide you to finding all the surprises that I have for you on this trip. But what I can say is that everything that you think you know about this trip, just let go of. It makes a change that I'm planning this trip alone for you, as we normally plan everything together. Not just being all the amazing places we've seen together, but we also plan our lives. I've loved our trips together, Prague being one of our favorite places, but my favorite trip was the one where we camped in a pre-built tent. Not only did we explore the northeast coast of Scotland, we got to spend time with each other with no distractions. Even if my fire making skills wasn't the best at the start, we finally got that sausage casserole cooked. Every time we eat our tin special casserole, it takes you back to that trip. I can't say I haven't enjoyed planning this trip, but it has been extremely stressful as there's been much more than just planning this trip. Don't want to spoil anything, so I'll be quiet now. Next stop, Amsterdam. That's not acceptable. <laughs> what is wrong with the plate? <laughs> I'm actually really upset about that. Well, that's a Weatherspoon's plate. <laughs> that isn't. <laughs> so here we are, guys. We are at Amsterdam Airport. Um, Schiphol. Schiphol? Schiphol Airport. Okay. Uh, we're at the airport and we've just got off our plane. It was quite a nice ride. An hour. It was really quick. Yeah. Um, anyway. This is it. What time is it right now? Uh, half nine, something like that. Alright, oh, okay. No, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, I better give you this now. Well, you didn't even speak about the last one you gave me. Oh, I did. Oh, I'm going to edit it in later. Okay. I've already edited that in. I'm so clever. I'll have to do it while I'm at home. Or... Be careful when you open this one. But that's what I'm saying, man. I missed them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My spelling is not great. I missed them. There's a reason why I use them. Um... just likes it, guys, because you don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I, I use Grammarly and stuff. We're gonna need that for the next thing. Um, you spelled it right in the next one. Yeah, I know, because I use my computer to write up. And I, uh... So anyway, again, like I did before, I will um, read you what I wrote in the letter. Um, and what was also in the letter was some money. Holly, I love you more. We finally made it to Amsterdam. 
I really hope that we have arrived on time as there's a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in. So we better rush. If I had all the time in the world, which we don't at the moment, I would be happy to spend all that time with you. My favorite time is the time of the day where you lay in my arms, falling asleep. It's so cute. Anyway, our next stop is central Amsterdam and we need to be there for half 10. From there, it's a short walk to a surprise. This surprise took a lot of planning. I won't bore you with the details because we don't have time. A little detail about the thing I have booked. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure what I booked because I have no clue. It was badly translated to English and I don't actually know what I was looking for. I'm sure you can change it. I don't care. I'm down for whatever you want. In this envelope, there's some euros. It will cover the cost of it and a little bit extra just in case you want something different. By the way, when we get there, I'm leaving you there with another envelope to open when you're done. <sighs> like, genuinely? Don't worry, there's lots of things that, yeah. Uh... Who have you, did you rope someone in? No, no, this is all, uh, all me. Um, yeah, if we don't pop the clocks. So, <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, so, um, just to give you a bit of a heads up, Holly's actually been to Amsterdam before, so um, as much as I'm kind of directing us where we're going, Holly's actually, know we're Holly's going. actually going to take the direction and tell us where we're going and how we're getting there. Well, we have a bit of a rush to get there because I want to get there for half ten, as I said, and it's now it's, ten o'clock. Yeah, but how long is the journey? Uh, Twenty minutes. So we're cutting it very fine. I always knew that this was going to be cutting it fine. That's why I was like, I really hope there's no delays because if there's any delays, it screws up the whole journey. Um, so Holly was a bit confused of my letter. It says that I got a little bit confused while writing it, like while I was sorting this out because of uh, not knowing everything. And also it was in Dutch, so it was a bit, but I've got something. I don't know if it's the right thing that Holly's going to like. So she can change it if they speak English. <laughs> Great. If not, she's got the thing that I've got, which I think she like, but probably not as much as she probably would herself. But anyway, that's the hint, anyway. Great. That's fine. I'll explain before we get there, don't worry. How fun was that? I'm not enjoying this trip so far. Sean's apparently planned everything out. Didn't have any money on us. Travel card. Didn't know what platform I'm going to was riding on me, who's never taken a train in Amsterdam. Third of all, let me wear a thick ass jumper and then made me run around. <laughs> Good planning, Sean. <laughs> I literally went, this is why we plan things together. <laughs> um, so far, um, Sean's doing a great job. But, uh, what time do I say I want to be at Amsterdam Central by? Half ten. What time is the train arriving? Five minutes past. <laughs> Let's just say this cutting the, the cutting it very fine. It's doing it English style. Oh. Making it there normal. Thank goodness you're leaving me the next place. <laughs> Where about are we now? So this is this is this is the main part, is it? No. No? Depends on who you ask. Right. This is where the train station is, and if you go down that way, you hit Dam Square. Right. Okay. Um. But if you're talking about main shopping area. Yeah. It's further again. Is it just a bit further down there? Down the Leeds Plain. Right. Um, Let me just explain what happened there then. So I just dropped Holly off to uh, the nail bar. She and I always said, if I was ever to propose, then I needed, or she needed to have her nails done beforehand. So, um, so I've dropped off at the nail bar. And I now need to finish off all the other preparations, all the other stuff that I've got planned. Um, I have to now go get some flowers. Oh, by the way, this is the letter that I've left her with. Holly, I love you the most. I think you've worked this out now. Or do I still have you questioning 
is this just part of a game? Just remember, there are no happy endings unless fairy tales come true. But don't worry too much, princess. Remember, I love you to bits. I hope your nails are looking amazing, but I'm not able to see them yet. But I can't wait until I can. I always hate leaving you, as they make me miss you more. I'm missing you right now. The first time I said I love you was before going on a bus back to Cranlarich. I missed you every time that I had to go back to the hostel. You used to send me music that I could listen to on the coach home. The 24th of June, you shared the song Glasgow with me on that bus home. See, I do remember the dates with the help of WhatsApp and Instagram. That song reminds me of you. When it plays and you're not there, I miss you. There are other songs that remind me of you too. Each letter contains a song lyric from a song that reminds me of you. Anyway, I'm missing you so much. Text me and I'll reveal the next location. It's a locker and a public toilet. Get changed and head to the locker. Remove the contents of the locker, take this with you, and then put everything you don't need into the locker. Sorry this next location isn't super fancy, but I recommend you get in there before 12, midday, as you need to be somewhere else for 1 p.m. I'm now gonna go get some flowers so she can go and find them in this locker that she's about to go and see. I've also got to find the locker, but I've got <sighs> Right, so let's go. So where I said locker, it wasn't really a locker. It was more of a place where they hold your bags. And this was in a gift shop. And when I said the flowers were yellow, they weren't really, they were kind of more this color. Anyway, this is the letter that Holly gets when she retrieves the flowers. Holly, I can't explain how much I love you. I bet you're sick of these letters now and you just want to see me. Well. I'm swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't. Before I tell you where I am, let me explain why I chose these flowers. Well, as I'm writing this note in the past, the one thing I can tell you about these flowers are that they're yellow. They're not yellow, guys. I was hoping for the sunflowers, but I know they're out of season. But they are yellow because you are my sunshine. You literally make me happier. Even when I'm a little bit happy, you're the reason why I smile 10,000 times a day. I remember the first time I bought you flowers. It was to your workplace. I was so nervous. What happens if you laugh at me? You never did. You appreciated them so much that you have one pressed still to this day. Look after these flowers as you're going to want to have one of these pressed to remember this day too. I love you so much and I want to give you the stars in the sky. I want to give you the sun and the moon. I thought I'd start by giving you the moon. Do you remember telling me about there being a really cool swing in Amsterdam? When you told me it was on the Adam Tower, I knew this. Because I'd previously booked the Moon Restaurant, which is located on the 19th floor. It's booked at 1pm and it's across the river. Aim to get there as close as 1pm as possible, not too early, as I want to meet you at the table. You might have some time to kill. There are some shops about and you can spend your time in there. Can you text me that you're gonna meet me on the moon? So I know you got the message. Oh, one last thing to remember. The answer to my next question is yes. Hey there, Sean. You a little bit nervous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scratch your face again, that's good. It's 
feels like forever, doesn't it? <sighs> anxious, are we? What are you anxious about? Have you got anything to be anxious about? <laughs> My beautiful fiance, Holly. I really do love you to bits. Really sorry about this last letter. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. We have so much planned already. We're traveling and I can't wait to do this with you. Oh, and before you know, I'll be carrying you over the threshold. This might seem a little bit rude, but I don't actually have anything else planned on this trip. It was hard enough to plan this trip without you. I love all your input. We are a team. I booked the hotel and I thought we could celebrate the night and explore tomorrow and live the rest of our lives together. Your future husband, Sean. this video then you're going to enjoy us exploring Amsterdam. This is technically tomorrow for us but for you guys it's next week. So I'll see you again soon. <laughs>